And so now we're going to look at the macro capabilities of the Ricoh GR3. And it actually has quite good macro capabilities. It, you can't attach any macro attachments or any macro lenses, but it does have a built-in macro setting, which is really good. So we turn the camera on. So we simply press the macro button to go into macro mode and press the macro button again to leave macro mode. So we're going to take a macro image of this tiny toy motorcycle using the GR3 in macro mode. So the GR3 can focus down to six centimeters. So you can see I can get a good exposure here. So at the moment I've got the camera in aperture priority and auto ISO and the f-stop is set to 2.8. If I want a better depth of field I can increase the f-stop and I'm going to go to f8 to give a good depth of field. So what I have to do is half focus and I get my macro shot. Now what I can do, I can see that quite clearly, if I go closer you'll notice the camera is unable to focus. At the moment I'm using pinpoint focus. So it's actually quite useful to put focus peaking on and we can find focus peaking in the menu for stills. So first we'll look at highlight focus peaking. So you might be able to see that some of the lines are highlighting. If I move this further back, all the way back there, you can see that some of the lines are highlighting and the tire and the edges are highlighting. However, what I find much more useful is to set the focus peaking to extract edge. I find that a much easier way to do things. So now you can see much easier what's in focus and what's not. Because simply, it's quite difficult when you've got a lot of highlights in our shot to tell what's in focus using the highlight peaking. So now we can tell what's in focus. We can tell those lines are in focus and the outline of the bike is in focus. And as soon as we half press and refocus, we lose that picture. But what we can do, you can see probably the easiest way to get a good focus is to move your camera back until you hit critical focus and when you hit critical focus take your picture. So let's just have a look at that again. So not in focus, not in focus, using focus peaking. In focus, if I keep pulling back, we see we start to lose the focus. But we get a nice sweet spot just by moving the camera backwards and forwards. And then I can take my picture. I can use the adjust button to quickly change my focus method. So now I've gone for manual focusing. And now if I press and hold the macro button, I can rotate the wheel and rotating the wheel is going to change that focus um, very subtly. It takes a long time to get things in focus, lots of rotations. Now what I can do as well, I can press and hold the display button and I punch in at four times magnification. So I can get some really good focusing here. So you can see, look at that grill starting to get that really sharp starting to lose focus there on the grill so I'm just dialing it back in with a fine manual control till I'm happy and now I'm taking that image very good but with the Ricoh GR you don't need spending most of your time acquiring focus and setting up things it's a camera that's designed to get quick snaps so you want to make sure you can get your image as quickly as possible. And I found the most effective one is either continuous focus. Again, we're gonna use the method of moving it back and then we're gonna place, I'm gonna pick something high contrast, touch to select the focus area, and now we're on continuous focus. And now we can take that 
And the other method which we can use is tracking. However, tracking is not as good as continuous focus, in my opinion. It allows us to change our composition, but I don't think it's as good as continuous focus for the macro mode. What does give the best focus for macro mode is using the pinpoint AF. So again, picking a high contrast area, using pinpoint focus and taking our snap. Now again, we can use macro in video mode and all I have to do to enter video mode is press the video button on the side and I will enter video mode and I can use the macro mode in video and I find as a YouTuber and somebody who makes YouTube videos this is very useful indeed being able to get good macro easily particularly without a macro lens in video mode. To set all this up was quite fiddly I'm going to put this all in a preset so f8 auto ISO focus peaking pinpoint focus and macro mode It'd be nice if I can just save the settings. So I'm going to go into my menu and I'm going to go down to customize and I'm going to go across to save settings. And I'm just going to put this in box three. And if I want to give it a name, I'm going to give it macro. And enter that as return. And now that's going to be in macro. So that's now complete. So if I put it in program mode and I take off the, the peaking, as you can see here, if I go to U3, not only is peaking back on, we are set at aperture priority, F8, ISO 3200, which it was before, and macro mode. And it's remembered all that, and it's gonna allow me to quickly snap some macro shots as I want. So it's really useful to be able to save your settings on the Ricoh GR. One of the great things about the Ricoh GR is its ability to save settings and do some quick shooting.